shit like that, <laughs> you lose that rep. Anyway, we're in the book of Romans, the 12th chapter, the 16th verse. It says, be of the same mind one to another, mind not high things, but condescend, or condescend, condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Now here's the point. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. This is not honest. You, you, you are defacing. You are defacing another person's property. I mean, this is incredibly stupid. And then you're wearing your garments on top of it. So at this point, that lets me know this shit. This shit is uh, set up, man. Ain't fooling nobody, man. <laughs> Again, let's bring back that scripture. Romans 12 and 17. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. This is not honest. Okay? If it be possible as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. Right, they, they, this. What about the people that own this property? Would they not be livid? Would they not be angry? Would they not want retribution? This is not a good look for us Hebrew Israelites. But again, you brothers out there, you got to know that these guys are set up, man. Set up to make us look bad. That's, that's the idea behind this shit. All right, so at that point, I'm going to let this thing go, and uh, hopefully you brothers were edified by this video. You found it edifying. All praises and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. He didn't put that reprobate spirit on us. And it, it, truth be told, you got reprobates out there, even in this thing of ours. Some of the worst reprobates on the planet Earth are in this thing of ours. I always I have a saying. I always say that the Heavenly Father brought the best and the worst of our people in this thing of ours. Some of the worst niggas you'll ever find on the planet Earth, you'll find them in the truth. And some of the best brothers on the planet Earth, you'll find them in the truth. It is what it is. All right? This is where discernment comes in. It tells you, man. As a matter of fact, let me end with that scripture. We're supposed to up our level of discernment. Because you got raccoons walking around, man. Toppling over the garbage can. Looking for food. You know what raccoons do. Well, these guys are raccoons, man. Let's get Malachi 3 and 18. This is what we're supposed to do. As wise men of the Haobashim <clears throat> Uh The book of uh, Malachi 3, beginning at 16. It says, um, Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and thought upon his name. That's the elect, right? And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels. That's another title for the elect, the Lord's jewels. And eventually we're going to shine, you know, like jewels, real jewels are supposed to shine. Well, eventually we're going to shine. All right, and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Spare them from what? For them for the from the common destruction that Yahweh Shai and the angels is bringing. All right now, here's the point. Then shall he return and discern. So we have returned back to the Father Yahweh Shai. Then shall he return and discern. So you know you have to get up on the level of discerning who has the truth and who, who who doesn't who's a real man of Yahweh and who's nothing but a raccoon nothing but a snake nothing but a brute beast <laughs> that's what these guys are brute beasts okay then shall he return and discern between the righteous and the wicked between him that serveth the heavenly father and him that serveth him not these 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 brute beasts are not serving the heavenly father well, they're serving the interests of Esau. That's why they're doing this shit. So Esau can use this shit to help demonize us, man. It's so clear. Anyway, hopefully you brothers were edified. See you in the next video. Shalom for now.